Half hand sized Namakwa courts from the Orange River General Region, Northern Cape of South Africa. I call these Namakwa courts because these are quite different to the Orange River, uh, the typical Orange River quartzes. Um, rather haggard in appearance. Uh, of course, Namakwa being named after the Namakwa land region, which is the, the, the early days of the Kalahari, um, uh, or not the Kalahari, the. Uh, the Kalahari Desert, yes, which runs into, eventually it joins in, runs into Namibia and then it joins with the Namib. Lovely form on this one, also telltale to these Namakwa quartzes would be the lovely patterning the smoky max. Mostly uh, only smoky quartzes, but at times you do find amethyst uh, from this deposit. Quite rare actually, the amethyst. This, this was of course the smoky quartz crystal. Size-wise, we're looking at a quarter hand size, so pretty good size. The yellowishness in here would be uh, a girthite in oxidation. I'm just going to move you around. Uh, let's get some reflections on this to show you the crystal faces. Let's look into the faces. So they, you can actually see into the crystals. I've at times also found in hydras in these. I think slight uh, uh, scratching on some of the terminations. So by no means perfect. But this just goes to add to the color of these particular crystals. And of course they don't come from next to the road. They come from rather rather harsh haggard regions. So by the time they reach man, they've been carried in rucksacks and, and wrapped most likely in newspaper from from the uh, the provenance. All the way from South Africa, Steinkopf, Namakwa quartz, quite magnificent, half a half a fist size. Pretty good size. And of course the various aspects. So when you look at this, it's so different to looking at this side when we go around here. And of course, at an angle, looking from the top down, you have this, you can actually see these lovely smoky paintings running through it.